Hello folks and welcome to Mr. Herbert's science class. Today we're going to do a test of longevity of three popular alkaline AA batteries. Those being Costco's Duracell's, Dollar General's DG battery, and Costco's Kirkland brand. You know, my wife usually goes to Costco and buys a lot of Duracell's. They cost $16.99 for a 40 pack or 43 cents each. And right beside the Duracell's are the Kirkland AA batteries at Costco, which are quite a bit cheaper at $20.99 for a 72 pack or 33 cents each. But she always insists on the Duracell's. Now in my case, over the last 12 years, I have always used the Dollar General batteries. They come in a 20 pack and only cost 6 bucks or 30 cents each. And they've worked perfectly on all my RC transmitters. Actually never had a problem. And so in these stores, those are the quantities available and buying any higher numbers of them doesn't make them any cheaper. Well, I'm sure others have tested these brands too, but I wanted to check them out for myself and to prove to my wife as I'm not going to show bias or favorability. Besides that, someone asked me to compare the Costco brand, so I thought I'd try that too. These are not lithium or carbon batteries, as that would definitely not be fair. They are alkaline only. And this test is not extremely scientific either, but it's more visual in nature, and <laughs> that way I can understand that the best. And of course, your results may vary, but we're going to do the best we can to be fair. And first of all, I needed a battery tester, so I decided to use this little loader truck and run it on a tether. It provides some drag going around the tether as the front wheels point straight ahead, so I figured it wouldn't run as long this way than just letting it lie on its back and let the wheels spin. So the first thing I did was run the motor for a half hour to break it in. And by using the same truck for all three batteries, I figured it would provide for a consistent test using the same machine for each battery. So let's start out with a Duracell battery and see how it goes. Here we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the motor. This is the Duracell battery. And I'm going to start this and start the timer at the same time. So here we go. There we go. This is the Duracell battery. Let's see how this goes. Did you ever watch grass grow? Or paint dry? Man. Still going 50 minutes so far on that one little battery. That's a lot to say about this little toy that I got at Lewis Drug Store in Sioux Falls, South Dakota for eight bucks. It's laboring along pretty good right now. One hour, 13 minutes. One hour, 18 minutes. Okay, it stopped. One hour, 24 minutes. That's pretty darn impressive. Okay, I'm gonna let the motor cool down for half an hour. And the next uh, thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop in a Dollar General battery and see how long it runs. Okay, I've got the Dollar General battery in here right now. I'm gonna start this up and hit the timer button. So here we go. Mm 
good. Everything's good. Now we'll see how long this one runs. Okay, we're at uh, 43 minutes now. Still going. Nice and uh, steady. Let's see how it continues. This again is the battery from Dollar General. Okay, slowing down quite a bit now. We're at one hour and eight minutes on the Dollar General battery. That's it. Okay, stop. One hour, 11 minutes, 21 seconds. That's the time on the Dollar General battery. Pretty good, I'd say. Okay, this is the Costco Kirkland battery. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up now. Start the timer. And here we go. Okay, we're at uh, 45 minutes and 40 seconds now. Kirkland battery. Still going strong. One hour, 17 minutes so far on the Kirkland battery, and it's still going. There we go, one hour, 24 minutes. I proved my point. The Kirkland battery has surpassed the Duracell. And still going. One hour twenty eight. One hour twenty nine minutes so far. Kirk on battery. And it just stopped. One hour twenty nine minutes and eighteen seconds on the Kirkland battery. <laughs> yeah, all of them, when you pick them up, after they're done running, they still uh, run, but it doesn't have enough power to go around with the drag on this. Well, all the voltage of the batteries unloaded at the end of the run was about 1.26 volts, still able to power an LED flashlight, but not enough to run the loader truck. And to be fair, I ran three more batteries through this test, taking almost another five and a half hours, and they all came out with the 15 seconds with the same results with the same winner by five minutes. Well, there you have it. In conclusion, the Duracell at one hour, 24 minutes did a much better than the Dollar General battery at one hour, 11 minutes. But the Costco Kirkland brand beat them all with a time of one hour and 29 minutes, which is five minutes longer than the Duracell. So honey, my money is still on the Kirklands. Especially since they're 10 cents cheaper each than the Duracell and the dollar store batteries, which are 13 cents cheaper each, isn't a bad deal either. So thanks a lot for watching Mr. Herbert's science class. See you next time.